are talking about new things to try in 2023. And if you're looking for ways to be a little more eco friendly, our friend Brandy from Lemon and Lavender knows all about that. Brandy, thanks so much for being back. Happy New Year to Happy you. New we Year. haven't seen you since yeah. Christmas, but we always love checking in with all cute things that are at Lemon and Lemon and Lavender. Let's chat first. You guys are doing a new challenge this year. Tell us about that and how yeah. that's working. Well, one of the things that that we um, always feel with our store is that we want to be more than a store. That we we have a mission of really trying to focus on going from the convenient to the conscious. Yeah. So we decided that for 2023, why don't we have a, a, a challenge, just little ways to be able to help others to become more conscious, to yeah. become more eco-knowledgeable, eco-friendly. And so we came up with kind of one step, one thing to do every single month, just little things that people can do to make a great impact. Yeah, well we know it's those little things that you know mm -hmm. accrue over time and create big change. So let's yeah. talk January now. Yeah. What's our one challenge for January that so we're trying to do? January is no more plastic straws. All right. And so um, kind of multiple ways that you can do that. One is just when you're out and about going to drink, just say no thanks to the plastic straw. Okay. Um, you could also, a lot of different restaurants are moving now toward paper straws which are okay, they're a little they, annoying They taste kind of weird, I'm not yeah, gonna lie, they, they taste start. weird. But we also have reusable straws. Okay. And so you can get them multiple places. We do offer them at Lemon and Lavender. We have these um, cute jars. Yeah, we have the cute little glass tumblers. We have um, a little reusable straw set. It comes in a nice little case so that you can, you know, throw it in your car, throw it in your purse. You're not going to go fumbling about with it. And it has multiple parts. You have your small, regular little straw. Nice just little bend situation. Mm -hmm. And then for those of you, we drink a lot of smoothies in our house. Mm. And so we have to have the smoothie straw. Smoothies, yeah. milkshakes. I feel like this would fit too in those, what are those new water bottles everybody's getting these days? I don't know. The yeah. Stanley Cup, the Stanley Cup, have you seen those? Yes. Feels like a good, a good yeah. thickness like size for that. And the little boba teas, those are really <gasps> boba popular. Boba teas, yeah, that's right good. Now. And so, and then we also have, because you really want to make sure they're cleaned out nicely. Oh yeah. Nice little, two little wire little brushes to be able to make sure that you get down in <laughs> there and so something super little that makes such a huge impact. Yeah, switching so. over from the plastic straw. Do you use, I'm kind of team, I don't even use straws a lot. I don't really of, use a lot straws of the at all. Yeah, I'll tell you, um, I'll, I'll share this personal family story that's now kind of a joke. Um, my parents like first argument of sorts and it's so silly but was like about using straws. My mother was using one and my daddy was like straws are for kids. Like what do you <laughs> It's like so they don't dribble on themselves. Like, what are you yeah. using a straw for? And she was like, I, I like to use a straw. And it was it's kind of a situation. <laughs> and now it's like kind of become a family joke whenever there are straws at the table. We're like, mm, OK. Um, but if you are a straw user, you've got great yeah. options here at Lemon and Lavender. Brandy, such yeah. a great way. And again, love this idea of the challenge throughout the month, little conscious decisions to create big overall change. You guys are also doing some fun workshops over the next few months, right? Just more yes. eco-friendly ideas. Tell yes. us what all we can do. Well, we started our workshops when we very first opened the store. You know, we were coming off off of trying to get away from COVID. People were wanting to go out and have events and things to do and just to be yeah. social. And so we've already launched for this year um, all of our workshops and they are selling out like crazy. Um, we have the end of January, we have a sewing 101, learning how to hand stitch a quilt top. So fun. Um, it's sold out. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's sold out. Yeah, um, but still such have, a fun idea We have two in February, we have a cookie decorating, which is sold out, but we've had to, we're having to hurry up and start um, posting them out into March already because okay. they're selling out so quickly. But so we more do are have, coming. We do have. Okay. Um, February we have a chunky blanket making class oh. and so you learn how to that really soft fat thick yeah I yarn. think we just saw a picture so, of it can yes. I tell you when I was little I got into a big um, knitting craze when I was like 10 or 11 or 12 I had the books I had the needles like yeah. it's yeah. Such interesting how the hobbies can really just suck you in you know so yeah. come on out to a class there at lemon and lavender yeah. brandy so fun tell us where we can keep up with your store keep up with all the classes that are coming yes, calendar definitely all that. go on to our website we have a blog on there that will give you all the details about okay. our um, 
convenient to conscious challenge it also we have a link on our website to all of our workshops so Perfect. we're already into March where we have a wreath making class with dried flowers so definitely all natural all of our workshops kind of fall in line with our mission so fun Brandy we love you and we love your mission and what you do thank you for always you. sharing your heart and your passion with us on the show again this is Brandy from Lemon and Lavender they've got a store there in Madison Brandy thank you so much happy new year to thank you